I really appreciate you joining me today and this is some news coming from Lancashire. Police have just jailed an organised crime group that imported millions of pounds worth of amphetamines into the UK from Europe. Police used CCTV footage to convict the gang and they said that they put on forensic suits to weigh out the drugs and sold in excess of 200 kilos of amphetamine and also were caught with mixing agents. They sold it over the north and south of England. The cameras also captured massive amounts of cannabis being put into bin liners and dropped off to units in Darwin. The investigation fell under the operation called Warrior and it started in 2021 when they attributed encrypted mobile phones to two men, one called Diafen and the other one called John Rowe. In March 2021, Diafen's home in Darwin was raided and police found £4,000 in cash, mobile phones, a notebook that also contained sums of money and prices for amphetamines. The police also seized the firearm and tests proved that it was a viable firearm. Within the notebook were details of an address in Darwin and in May 2020, German authorities had intercepted a package of six kilos of drugs that was bound for that address. At the same time, the police raided Diafen's property and executed a warrant in Horshaw Heights, Darwin. They recovered from the bedroom of Diafen a safe that contained 15,000 in cash, cocaine, bags, scales and a further mobile phone. They also recovered cannabis from his van. When they searched the unit in Hollins Grove Mill, they found over 100 kilos of mixing agents and bottles of liquid used to make amphetamines. Further inquiries by the police discovered that Sean Bradshaw was the man that was responsible for buying the mixing agents that were used to make the amphetamines. Over a two-year investigation, the police built up a lot of coverage and a lot of evidence to show that they were drug dealing on a large scale. Another defendant called Ashley Morris was arrested on February the 25th, 2021, when he met Diafan and also Stone. This was in order to produce drugs and also to mix them. A forensic analysis of the unit they used found fingerprints belonging to Dean Houghton, who was present with 10 kilos of amphetamine. Another defendant called Philip Alderson controlled the logistics of the organised crime group and on February the 26th, 2021, he was caught on CCTV, loading a number of white bags into a car, with the consignment being taken to Manchester. They also filmed Philip Alderson taking a number of large bags to Stone on one occasion. When another defendant called John Cropper was arrested at his home address, he was found with mobile phones, a baton and money. Messages recovered from the phone also discussed large amounts of drugs, money and the weights of amphetamine. On March the 10th, 2021, a Romanian national was stopped at Dover entering the UK in a Mercedes van that contained furniture coming from Italy and it was destined for a unit in Darwin in Lancashire. Hidden within the furniture was cannabis valued at £250,000. The unit was linked to Defron and also Stone and the driver later gave a second address that was linked to defendant Phil Peters. They searched the unit and found £25,000 in cash. Peter's home was then raided and they found another 8,000 and other evidence that suggested that he was importing drugs. On March the 11th, the defendant Alderson travelled to Bristol to purchase a tipper truck and returned to Darwin the following day with eight bin bags full of cannabis. Stone took images of the cannabis and once it had been unloaded, they sent them to the defendant known as Andrew Berry. The cannabis would later be delivered to Berry. While Anderson was caught on CCTV making the journey, the other defendant Stone and Defran shook hands on the agreement to sell the remainder of the cannabis. Defendant Nicholas Wilson was caught on CCTV several times moving large amounts of cannabis in vacuum bags and another defendant Anthony Richardson was also caught on CCTV viewing the safe where the money was stored. Further inquiries by the police into Stone and Panta discovered an address in Accrington and when the police arrived they found a man called Lee Booth who had fled but they identified him by his van that was left outside. A cannabis factory was found upstairs and both Panta and Booth were later arrested. They would often film large amounts of cannabis and send it to each other. Another defendant called Joshua Main both dealt in cannabis and also cocaine on behalf of the group. They were all later be charged and convicted and today have been sentenced. Detective Stuart Peel from the East Division said this was a complex investigation into a serious organised crime gang and they imported drugs on a massive scale that they would then cut at the Darwin headquarters and sell on for massive profits. The scale of the operation was phenomenal and even though there was a clear structure to the organisation, each member played their key role. All of them were ready to get their hands dirty. So I thought this story was really interesting and definitely shows the organisation that sometimes surround these gangs that try to create 
large organisations revolving around drugs. So I really want to hear what people have to say on this story. And don't forget, I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Don't forget to turn on the notifications and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to send your stories to news at scarcitystudios.com. And also follow on social media.